Hello, welcome or welcome back. It's your woman Angela K O D. Today we are in the countryside, and today we are going to make a very Dutch traditional food. Come with me and let's cook this delicious healthy meal. By for new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela K O D and everyone watching my videos. Thank you so much for your love and support. Help me welcome our special guest who is going to make us this delicious meal. What's your name and what are you going to prepare for us today? My name is Lisette Verheijen and today I'm going to prepare snert or the so-called erte soup for you. Wow. Which is a special Dutch winter soup. Wow. It's very... Uh, winter. Winter for Ooh. this type of weather. Wow. Wow. So Lisetta, what is the name of this this area, this countryside? Uh, the name of this area is Bots Hole. It's a nature uh, reserve and it's our uh, reed lands. Wow. And maybe you can hear the sound at the back. The duk, 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 duk. Mm -hmm. They are actually cutting the reed Whoa. which they use for the roofs. Wow! So this is the time of the year where they cut the reeds for the roof. Yeah, it's in the winter that they cut it. Wow. Yeah. Guys, so later I'll show you around. So Lechetta, what are the ingredients we'll be needing for the cooking? Well, the base of the soup are the green peas, the erte, that gives the name to the soup. All right. So you start with green peas, uh, potatoes, celery, uh, pork and pork on bone, that kind of gives the structure to the soup. And then you add the vegetables, uh, leek and carrots, uh, celery and onions, mm -hmm. a little bit of garlic, and if you like some uh, vegetable stock, and salt and pepper. So Lachetta, the soup, do you eat it like that or it goes with something? Now the soup goes with sausage, yeah. that goes in the soup. And then we eat it, we call it roggebrood. It's like wow. black bread yeah. with uh, bacon. Yeah, yeah, bacon, yeah. It looks mm -hmm. so really, really delicious. Yeah, we have not prepared it yet, but you can see the table is full with all these goodies. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take the water from the farmhouse because during winter, the water is cut off here. So guys, let's go. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited. Wow. So this is really a very special pan. Okay. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Guys, so this is the base of our soup, the water. It's yam kwaena na yashem. Let's go ahead to drain the water from the peas. And take off the lid. Yeah. So guys, we we'll go ahead and add the peas to the soup. Add the pork ribs and also some chopped ham, guys. So everything is going in one pot. Cover it up, and you can add some pepper. Oh, you can do plenty of pepper. Yeah. <laughs>
Nishata, what did you say this one, the name of this one in English? Celeriac. Celeriac. In, and in Dutch, what do you call it? Close cell that I. Close. Close cell Guys, haha. <laughs> Guys, you really need to speak Dutch from your truth. <laughs> So guys, today is minus two. It's really, really cold. But we are very lucky we set the fire. So with the help of the fire, we don't feel the cold. And this soup is also going to help because it's really winter soup. Lisheta, who taught you how to make this soup? My mother taught me how to make this soup. Wow! <laughs> it's because, a very Dutch traditional soup. Wow! Because I was talking to one of my colleagues and I asked her about something she can make Dutch for. She said, no, 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 no. It's a it's soup she can't because it, it takes a long time. So it takes, it's really uh, good that your mother taught you how to make this soup. It takes time, but you can make a lot and put it in the freezer Ooh. and then you have stopped you can use uh, for later oh that's really cool yeah. so it means that you can make it in bulk like so people make it in bulk and uh, keep it in the freezer and use it the whole winter yeah that's how i do it i make a lot and then put it in the freezer so i can use it for the whole winter oh that is really cool So we are adding the what's the name of this? Celery. Celery. Stir everything in. It's already boiling almost. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and cover this. <coughs> So I'm first cutting it and then washing it. Normally I would do it the other way around. Cut it fine. Yeah, now that it's boiling, there's uh, foam coming on the soup and I'm trying to reduce it as much as possible. You don't have to take it all, but... Guys, it's so cold here. So with the help of this tea, it helps. Very, very cold. Minus two. It's not a joke, eh? Mom, and two tone free no more banner. 
<laughs> Guys, as you can see, the carrots we did not peel it. Since I bought the idea, I a full. It is a full idea, and no, it just is just so. So we don't have the time to peel the carrots. We are just chopping it like this. Oh, uh -huh. very quick and nice. Yes, sir. It's very delicious. The parsley you put when the soup is ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. better have taken your knife. <laughs> yeah, take it to chop it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and add it. Garlic, guys. I'm gonna take this off. Said the Musiene Kovman, you know. This reminds me so much back home, guys. <laughs> Guys, the flavors here, it's awesome. So go ahead and add the leaves and the carrots. Guys, so, and yeah, girl. Potatoes. Add the potatoes, more and carrots carrot. and potatoes. Then we will stir everything in. Check out the colors in this part, guys. We'll cover with that. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I like the colors here and the flavors. So now we'll cover it up and I'm going to ask Lesheta to take us around. A little lower? Oh, oh, so you can take it a little lower. Wow. And now it has to boil for one and a half hours. What do you call this? Because this is my first time seeing something like this. Eh? It's a tripod. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because normally in Ghana, we we'll take a stone, maybe three, three stones, yeah. and I'll we'll put the fire in between the stones or we'll set it. But like this, this is my first time of seeing something like this. <laughs> She's taking us around, guys. Yeah, and look, the sun is coming. Yeah. So yeah. I think in summer it's going to be more beautiful. Yeah, it's both in summer and winter. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 So like how how far does it go? Oh, you can skate about five kilometers. Five kilometers. Yeah. Wow. Around. Around. Yeah. Very nice. Wow, that is really cool. Uh, how I wish I can skate. <laughs> and when the turns my <laughs> then I can also skate. But maybe first <laughs> your driving license and then I'm skating. <laughs> yeah, it's a <will> come. <laughs> Wow, it's actually not so thin. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that thin. It's not that thin. Yeah, it's actually quite thick, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. So, it's not. It's, it's not, not up to the level that you can see. You cannot on. stand on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised actually. It's about one and a half centimeter. Yeah. So like this, you cannot skate on it. You cannot. It has yeah. to be. You know, people go on it when it's four centimeter, but that's also not enough to uh, carry a big yeah, 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 yeah. There needs to be like six centimeters. So, like maximum, how many centimeters you you can really skate on it without falling inside the water? Well, 
top of gold when it's four centimeter, but yeah. you need like six centimeters. Six centimeters. Yeah. So on a normal, uh, it's six. And to kind of have a tour, yeah, you need like twelve centimeters. Twelve ice. centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't happen again, yeah. eh? It will. I will sure. I hope. Like, okay, February. Yeah, it's possible. It's po still possible it's this still winter. Possible. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> So Lucetta, the, the the size of a person depends also because if I look, if you and me, if you are, if it's four centimeters, I think for you it's okay. But for me, like this, no. Yeah, yeah. I need know. about maybe eight or twelve maximum. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. It also depends on how fast you skate. Fast is also you will not go through the ice as quickly as when you are very slow because oh. when you go fast, the cracks go behind, behind you. you. I okay. mean, you are slow. You can just for so it's like for somebody like me who is like a learner basic who will be starting from basics i don't dare go even when it's four i have to wait yeah, so it yeah. may be six or from eight going yeah. in oh, and okay. you always we always bring special things with uh, sharp so if you go through the eyes you can pull yourself out oh out okay yeah. okay Oh, but better I wouldn't try it. No, me. no, no, me neither. Oh, me neither. <laughs> I never have gone through the ice so far, luckily. <laughs> and have you gone through the ice before? No, I never. Oh, okay. But I know people who have done. Yeah, but you are. But they survived. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and in summer you can rent the boats to go fishing or just to relax or have a picnic or oh. have a swim. And look, somebody even forgot his protection for his ice skate. We yeah. were able to skate here the beginning <laughs> of December, oh. very early. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful both winter and summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, in winter, in summer, I'll be renting one of these boats. We'll go for fishing. And after all, we'll make pepper soup, fish pepper soup with those oh, fish. Yeah. I hope. You're that welcome, would that would be nice. <laughs> that would be also yeah. be nice. Yeah. Yeah, and in spring it's prohibited to enter this area Ooh. because then it's breeding season and they want to have it quiet for the birds. And there's a lot of birds coming here to uh, to breed. Let's go back to the kitchen. <laughs> boiling. Let's check on our soup, guys. It's, it's really boiling. it's so cold outside there's so yeah. much steam you can see because it's so cold the steam you cannot even see the soup really good guys oh we'll cool it up a little bit yeah now it's just wait yeah So this is the smoked like sausage. This is typical Dutch, right? This is typical Dutch rookworst we call it smoked sausage, so and we also we eat it uh, in winter oh. a lot, and also with uh, stampotten. With stampotten, all right, guys. So guys, we are. She's chopping them into little pieces and we put them in the soup. But it only needs to get warm. Yeah, yeah. It's already been cooked. It's already been yeah. cooked, yeah. I like it with I like it with stump pot. It goes really well with it. It's very fatty. <laughs> <laughs> and salty. <laughs> yeah, and in winter you can eat a bit more fatter because we need it to stay warm in this type of weather. That's why I remember I knew a guy, he's so fat that he told me, Angela, I don't need a jacket in the winter because I have a lot of fat on my skin. I was just looking at it, I couldn't laugh. <laughs> well, maybe that's not the ide ideal. Yes. <laughs> but in summer we eat much more salad and in winter we eat a bit more yeah, heavy uh, yeah. <laughs> food. Mm -hmm. We burn a lot more, especially now electricity is so expensive. We need to keep our body warm yeah. by eating good food. Okay. 
<laughs> it's not perfect. Yes, now it's okay. Yeah. The soup is actually thickens. Yeah. Now you can see a little bit. The flavors here, guys, look. It's really now getting to thicken up. So this soup is so thick, so it still needs to cook more. This reminds me so much with my grandmother's village. During Christmas, we go to the village to visit our grandparents, and it's like this. They'll just set a fire for us, and as children, will sit around it. Sometimes my grandmother will put some maize or plantain, wrap plantain in it and we'll be eating and we'll be sitting around the fire enjoying the coziness. So this really reminds me so much back then. Okay, while the soup is boiling, we uh, prepare the bread that we eat with the soup. So this is also a traditional bread. Right? Mm -hmm. Look, it's really like wheat, right? This is a wheat bread. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, we call it roggebrood, which Roche is a brood. special type of wheat. Wow. And, um, yeah, it's it looks really healthy, eh? I think it is. It has mm. a special taste. Yeah. Not everybody likes it, but yeah. I really like it. We put some butter on it. Mm. Which is quite hard with this weather. <laughs> with this weather, you don't expect butter to melt. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Oh, we deal with... Uh, all this weather. Yeah. It's outdoor cooking. So it's different presentation yeah, than in the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this also makes it more unique. Okay. And sometimes I, I personally think outdoor cooking takes even better. Because you don't spend more time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we eat this with the soup. <laughs> Guys, I don't know where you are watching this video from. So if you can also comment below and let me know what's your traditional food. Because in Ghana, we have a lot of traditional food. Food banku, so many because you know we are. Yeah, but also this, this is one of the Dutch traditional food. So wherever you are watching me from, comment below. Let me know one of your traditional food you, you also eat. Let's check on our soup. You can see it really thickens up. Check out the colors here. So guys, we will go ahead and remove the, um, let's say, pork ribs. Because we need to take the uh, bones out of the meat. Separate the bones from the meat, guys. It's a bit challenging. <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Let me try. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. The vapor. Yes. 
this is better. It's already getting a little bit thick. Okay. Now the peas are falling apart and now we have to stir a lot so they don't Bend. burn. So yeah. we leave the lid off. And the soup really smells very nice. Yeah, the flavors here guys. Be a funny boom, run on my GBY with your phone. I some put on bottle of it. And the soup gets even thicker if you let it cool. Yeah. And then you eat it the next day. Oh. So what she's saying is that when you eat the soup the next day is better because then it takes more. So go ahead, our pot. It's starting to look good. The peas are almost completely dissolved. A little bit. How many minutes remain for this soup to be ready? I think about five minutes because oh. the peas are almost completely fallen apart. All right. So I think about five minutes it will be ready. Guys, so about five minutes our soup will be ready. The flavors here, oh, it's awesome. As I shall always say, I can't wait to dig in. Oh, let me dear mama. So time to add the sausages, guys. This soup is very nutritious and healthy because it has all these goodies in here. And remember, we have not had any salt yet. The salt will come in the later part when the soup is almost ready. Because, because of all these flavors in the, salt, in the soup, if you add salt in the early stage, she said that it's not good. So you always have to wait at the end before you add some salt. So 
so guys with a combination of all, of all these ingredients it really looks like a pot on potter or yam pottage or potato pottage whatever you call it where you come from it's really really listen the flavors in it's almost like also like a pot on potter or pottage Guys, let's dig in and taste for salt. Yeah. So, look. <laughs> so, guys, we taste for salt. Mm. We need a little bit of salt. The flavors, the taste, the chef of this soup is so delicious. And your mouth, you feel it. Wow, the potatoes and the eggs. Wow, so a little bit of salt That's is okay. Yeah. So the thickness looks really good. Yeah, the thickness is really good. So, I'll try a full pot on pot on here. This is the Dutch version of a pot on pot or pottage. You can just give it a try. Oh, you for me, it's okay, but yeah, I, for, I, I eat very little salt. Yeah, we too, the same here. We don't eat too much salt. So I think it's okay. Are you going to do it out of the fire or what are you doing? Um, let me take, I don't have a soup. I will get a cup and we fill our bowls okay. and then we eat. So time to dig in and serve, guys. I'm very excited. This is my favorite part. The eating part, more well, journey, <laughs> foodie. <laughs> so, guys, we don't have soup a spoon here, so we are using our cup. You know, outdoor cooking, everything is possible. So, this is my wow, guys. It's okay. You're know, welcome. Wow, just have a look. And there's some parsley to Good. sprinkle on yeah. it. So this is also for my cameraman. Uh, hey, someone who knows the idea. Let's with a little bit of parsley, guys, for more flavors. Fresh parsley. So guys, thank you so much for coming with us to make this delicious, authentic Dutch meal. Lesheta, thank you so much for coming and also teaching us how to cook this delicious Dutch meal. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela KOD and everyone watching my videos, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye from Boston. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eet makkelijk. Dank je wel. Doei. <laughs> so this is how you do it. You cut some very Mmm, guys. The combination with the soup. Hmm.